All right, today, today we're going to look at um, the one of the most common issues with the smart boards in the districts when the smart boards are not communicating properly with your laptop um, or a desktop. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's a mode called HID mode, which is a mouse only mode. So basically what happens is either you walk in in the morning and you turn your board on or you come back um, from teaching or come back from break or something like that and you look at the board and everything looks normal except for the light on the board is now flashing green rather than being a solid green. Uh, and when you try to use your pens, you try to use the eraser, it doesn't work. But if you use, um, say, your finger and you, you move it around the board, um, you do get a mouse or a cursor that follows and allows you to either click or right click on things. Um, but this is a limited function, obviously, because you can't um, write on the board. And that's kind of the, one of the main uses. So um, to get it out of this mode, um, we have to try a couple of things. Um, the first thing that we want to do is open our smart settings. So if you go up and spotlight it by using the little magnifying glass and start typing in smart, it comes up right here, smart settings, it's a little tool as the icon. When I open this up, it gives me several options for um, the boards. And this is kind of where the diagnostics are. Um, the one that we want is right here the connection wizard. Um, you'll notice right away that if your board is on and it's in that flashing mode you should get the same message that no smart boards are connected. Meaning the smart board is on it's connected to your computer but they're not talking to each other. So it tells you right here press connection wizard and when we launch the connection wizard which you can see down here in the dock now is launching it will scan the system and it's looking for smart products. Um, when it comes back, it should say smart board 800 series on here, and then underneath that will likely be my smart product is not li listed. You'll want to select that 800 series and then hit continue. And then after that, you can just X out of it. Um, if it says smart board 800 series, that means it's found your board. Um, and it's reestablished the connection between them and if you look up at the board it should have stopped flashing green um, and uh, you, if you go up and try the markers out you should be able to write on the board. If not, um, then we need to try some other things. But first let's talk a little bit about why this might happen. Um, the connection can be lost uh, in several different ways but the most common way that it's lost is from your computer, either your desktop or laptop, shutting off and going to sleep after a period of time. So we want to make sure that when you have it sitting at your desk uh, or uh, your cart or whatever, that it's not going to go to sleep if you don't use it for a little while. So to do that, we're going to click our system's preferences. When that comes up, we're going to go up to Energy Saver, click that, and then you're going to have two options. You're going to have when it's running, if you have a laptop, when it's running just off of the battery, and then when it's running off of power adapter. The, in both cases, um, you'll want to shut it, the sleep function off by going over, selecting the bar, and sliding it all the way over to Never. Um, the display sleep doesn't matter. Um, but the important thing here is never here and then in terms of putting the hard disk to sleep you want to uncheck that and then for your battery the same thing you'd want to put down never and uncheck that if it's not plugged in. This will prevent your computer from going to sleep and uh, severing the connection between the two in such a way that it won't be able to connect again and likely will solve the problem in most cases. If not um, if you're still having problems with that and you run the connection wi wizard, uh, <clears throat> then what you want to do is completely shut down, restart the computer again, and run the connection wizard again. This, again, solves usually most of the rest of the problems. For the probably 5% less, or 5% that are left, um, we're 
need to reinstall the drivers. So in order to do that, um, you'll need the CD from the um, smart software and you can update the drivers that way. Um, by just putting in the CD, it will auto run on your computer um, and it will go through the updating process. When that's done, it will uh, update the drivers, update the firmware and the board, and then the board should connect just fine. Um, that would work as well and, um, if you're doing, instead of doing the connection wizard, but the connection wizards are just a lot faster. Um, if you do not have your CD, can't find it, uh, let me know. I do have an extra and that I can bring to you. Um, but that should solve that problem. Uh, and this has been fixing your smart board when it goes into HID mode.